Africa is often dubbed as the cradle of humankind. Each new find in this diverse and ancient continent seems to peel back another layer of our rich human history, often challenging and reshaping our understanding of the past. Even after decades of continuously searching throughout the continent, we continue to unearth things that astound us. From a mysterious stone to the oldest trees on Earth, here are 20 shocking things recently discovered in Africa. Number 20. Skystone The Skystone, discovered in Sierra Leone by Angelo Pittoni, a geologist and archaeologist, is a remarkable and enigmatic artifact that has sparked both intrigue and skepticism in the scientific community. What makes the Skystone so intriguing is its unusual composition and the myths surrounding it. Pittoni's discovery was no ordinary find. The stone, predominantly composed of oxygen, more specifically 77% of it, along with carbon, lime, and traces of silicone and other materials, stands out as a unique specimen. Laboratories in Rome, Germany, and Tokyo analyzed the stone, concluding it's distinct from any other known on Earth, suggesting an extraterrestrial origin. Carbon dating estimates suggest the Skystone arrived on Earth between 2,500 and 17,000 years ago. The large discrepancy in between is the mere limitation of carbon dating. The Skystone's unusual composition, particularly its high oxygen content and the presence of elements like carbon and lime, adds to the puzzle. It resembles neither a typical rock from Earth nor a known meteorite. This ambiguity has made the Skystone a subject of fascination for many, with some collectors even considering it a valuable object due to its rarity and mysterious origins. Despite extensive analysis by several laboratories, there remains a lack of consensus on its origin and nature. Some theories propose that the Skystone could be an artificially created object, possibly by an advanced lost civilization, as suggested by its presence in soil layers dating back to at least 12,000 BC. Aside from its bizarre composition and confusing origin, local legends from Sierra Leone make this stone more intriguing. These tales describe the stones not as inanimate objects, but rather beings from the sky cast down to earth by divine forces as punishment for their misdeeds. For this reason, they were transformed into stone to lie buried beneath the soil. While it's impossible that this is the truth, many conspiracists believe this to be the truth. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Old Jawbone in Ethiopia In 2013, A significant archaeological discovery was made in the Lady Gararu research area of the Afar Regional State in Ethiopia, a 2.8 million year old fossilized jawbone. This finding is particularly important in the study of human evolution. After all, it reveals much about a period of humankind that we previously didn't know much about. This jawbone is the earliest evidence of the genus Homo, which exhibits characteristics of both humans and apes. The features of this fossil, such as slim molars, symmetrical premolars, and a proportionate jaw, differentiate it from our more ape-like predecessors, but still retain their primitive chin. The discovery of this jawbone, which predates previously identified homo fossils by about 400,000 years, narrows the evolutionary gap between our ape-like ancestor known as Australopithecus and the early homo. It's an exemplary case of a transitional fossil offering a rare glimpse into the early phases of our lineage's evolution and showing the developmental changes in jaw and teeth structure that occurred only 200,000 years after the last known occurrence of Australopithecus afarensis, famously known through the discovery of Lucy. Number 18. Oldest Stone Tools In western Kenya, near the shores of Lake Victoria, lies a remarkable archaeological site known as Nyayanga. Here, Scientists unearthed a collection of stone tools estimated to be a staggering 2.9 million years old. This discovery not only pushes back the timeline of tool usage by early humans, but also presents a bit of a puzzle as to who the craftsmen were. The tools, part of the Oldowan tool kit, represent some of the oldest examples of this technology. The Oldowan tool kit was a significant advancement for early humans, enabling them to process a variety of foods and expand their diet. Among the tools found were hammer stones and stone cores used for pounding plants, bones and meat, and sharp-edged flakes for cutting meat. Interestingly, while it was long believed that Oldowan tools were exclusively made by species within the Homo genus, this site challenges that notion. No Homo fossils were found at Nyayanga. Instead, two teeth from the genus Paranthropus were discovered, 
suggesting that this cousin of ours might have been the toolmaker. This association between the Nyayanga tools and Paranthropus opens new questions about the makers of the oldest Oldowan tools. It hints that perhaps not only Homo, but other hominins were skilled in using Oldowan technology for food processing. This discovery is crucial as it marks a milestone in human evolution. Number 17. Old Burial In the Panga Yasaidi cave in Kenya, the oldest known human burial in Africa was discovered, or at least among the oldest, dating back about 78,300 years. This grave, belonging to a young child named Umtoto, showed us previously unknown insights about the early burial practices of our ancestors. The burial site, located in a cave occupied by humans for nearly 80,000 years, reveals that the tradition of symbolically significant burials, at least for the very young, was embedded in African cultures toward the end of the Middle Stone Age. The careful placement of Mtoto's remains, on the right side with knees bent up toward the chest, along with the use of a support or pillow for the head and a shroud for the upper body, indicates a level of care and respect in the burial process reminiscent of how we honor the dead today. Mtoto's remains were initially discovered in 2013, but upon further excavation and analysis, it was determined that the child was about 2.5 to 3 years old at the time of death. The preservation of the skeleton, including a skull base connected to neck bones, was remarkable, allowing for a detailed study of the burial. Number 16. Stone Circles of Senegambia The stone circles of Senegambia cover an area of about 11,580 square miles and include over 1,000 stone circles and mounds. This site, approximately 137 miles long and 62 miles wide, was recognized for its global significance and was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2006. The circles are divided into four large sites. These areas contain approximately 29,000 stones, 17,000 monuments, and 2,000 individual sites, mainly upright blocks or pillars made of laterite with smooth surfaces. The monoliths are arranged in various formations, including circles, double circles, and rows, showcasing intricate planning and execution. The estimated time frame for the construction of these monuments spans from the 3rd century BCE to the 16th century CE. The presence of pottery shards, human burials, grave goods, and metals around the circles indicates the cultural and ritual significance of these sites. The effort and organization required to build these structures suggest a prosperous society. Identical pillars, either cylindrical or polygonal, averaging 2 meters in height and weighing around 7 tons, were crafted using iron tools. Despite extensive research, the builders of these megaliths remain unidentified, with potential candidates including the ancestors of the Jola, Wolof, or Serer people in the region. Number 15. Leidenberg Heads the Leidenberg heads, discovered in Leidenberg and Pumalanga, South Africa, are an intriguing and significant archaeological find. Dating back to around 500 AD during the African Iron Age, they're considered the earliest known examples of African sculpture in Southern Africa. The story of their discovery is almost as fascinating as the artifacts themselves. Archaeologists didn't discover these sculptures, but rather, they were first found by a young boy, Carl Ludwig von Bezing, on his father's farm. Years later, he returned to excavate the area, eventually uncovering seven hollow terracotta heads. Two of these were large enough to be worn over a child's head, and interestingly, one of the seven heads bore animal-like features. The craftsmanship of the heads, reconstructed at the University of Cape Town, reveals a high degree of skill and artistry. Six of the heads display human characteristics, while one distinct head appears to represent an animal, possibly indicating a symbolic or ritualistic use. What's more bizarre is that some of the heads were possibly adorned with white slip, indicating the heads might have had a ceremonial purpose. However, perforations in the smaller heads suggest they might have been part of a headdress or significant structure. To this day, the origin and purpose of these heads remain unknown. Number 14. The Oldest Burial and Small-Brained Ancestor In the depths of the Cradle of Humankind, a UNESCO World Heritage Site near Johannesburg, South Africa, lies a discovery that is rewriting our understanding of early human ancestors. Paleontologists led by Lee Berger unearthed the oldest known burial site in the world, dating back to at least 200,000 BC, which astonishingly belongs not to Homo sapiens, but to Homo naledi, a small-brained distant relative of humans. Homo naledi, 
a species at the crossroads between apes and modern humans, had brains about the size of oranges and stood approximately 5 feet tall. The species, discovered in the Rising Star cave system in 2013, displayed traits such as curved fingers and toes, tool-wielding hands, and feet adapted for walking. These physical attributes previously led scientists to believe our evolutionary path was straightforward, but discoveries like this suggest a more complex journey. The burial site contained oval-shaped interments, with evidence suggesting that holes were deliberately dug and filled in to cover at least five individuals' bodies. This finding challenges the long-held belief that mortuary practices and the development of symbolic behaviors were exclusive to Homo sapiens or other hominids with larger brains. Adding to the intrigue, engravings forming geometrical shapes, including a rough hashtag figure, were found on the surface of a cave pillar nearby. This suggests that symbolic practices, traditionally considered unique to humans, might have a more complicated and dynamic history, possibly not even originating with our species. Number 13. Smallest Old World Monkey the smallest known Old World monkey species, Nanopithecus brownie, which lived 4.2 million years ago in Kenya, represents a significant discovery in the understanding of primate evolution. Compared to the modern Talapoin monkey, the smallest living Old World monkey species weighed only about 2 to 3 pounds. This tiny primate was discovered at a site known as Kanapoi in Kenya's arid landscape, offering new insights into the diversity of early monkey habitats. Its discovery, in a region markedly different from the tropical forests where modern relatives like the Telepoins live, shows us the complexity of Gwenon monkeys' evolution. This discovery challenges our previous notions about primate size evolution, revealing that dwarfing occurred far earlier and in different habitats than previously thought. Number 12. 252 million year old saber tooth lion. The discovery of a 252 million year old saber toothed predator, the Nostrand Sevia, in South Africa is a significant paleontological breakthrough. This tiger sized Gorgonopsian, a proto mammal group that included the first saber toothed predators, journeyed an astounding 11,000 kilometers across the supercontinent Pangaea, from present day Russia to South Africa. This migration occurred during the Great Dying, a mass extinction event at the end of the Permian period which saw about 90% of species go extinct. This period was marked by extreme ecosystem fluxes, with apex predators such as Anostrin sevia facing high extinction risks. These findings, uncovered by examining the fossil record of the Karoo Basin, shed light on the extensive changes in predator hierarchies during this period. We can also say that this discovery shows the severity of the crisis, drawing parallels with current challenges faced by large carnivores in our time due to hunting and habitat destruction. An Austrian Sevia's skin was akin to an elephant or rhinoceros, displaying a slightly reptilian appearance, despite its relation to present-day mammals. Today, we can only imagine how monstrous other creatures were before the Great Dying. If this mass extinction event didn't happen, would humans have the chance to survive in today's ecosystem? Would our evolution path face a different direction? Or would humans rise to the top of the chain despite the presence of stronger animals? It's hard to determine the answer. One thing is certain, however. No matter how advanced we get, we are at the mercy of our planet's condition. Number 11. 153,000 year old footprints. Who could have imagined that footsteps from a distant past, some 153,000 years ago, would be waiting under the African sands to tell us a story? In the high cliffs of the Garden Route National Park in South Africa, an incredible discovery was made that has captured the imagination of both scientists and history enthusiasts. Here, nestled in the majestic landscape, archaeologists unearthed the oldest known footprints of our species, Homo sapiens, dating back a staggering 153,000 years. It's almost as if these ancient footprints were waiting, hidden in time, for us to uncover the stories they hold. These tracks, found near the southern tip of the African continent, represent not just mere imprints in the earth, but a direct connection to our distant ancestors. The Garden Route National Park, a jewel in the crown of South Africa's Western Cape and Eastern Cape provinces, served as the backdrop for this momentous find. Imagine the awe and excitement as researchers, upon discovering these footprints, realized they were looking at the oldest footprint attributed to Homo sapiens known to us today. It's a find that resonates through the corridors of time, offering a glimpse into the life of early humans. These footprints, etched into the fabric of our history, provide invaluable insight into humanity's journey. 
Number 10. Mzora Stones Nestled in the Moroccan countryside, you'll find the enigmatic Mzora Stones. The Mzora Stones, located near Asila in Morocco, consist of a collection of megaliths arranged in a circular formation, dating back possibly to 5,000 years ago in the Neolithic period. The Mzora Stones form a near-perfect circle, approximately 180 feet in diameter. Archaeological studies of the Mzora Stones suggest they may have served as a burial ground. This theory is partly based on discovering human remains and artifacts during excavations, indicating the site's role in ancient funerary practices. The alignment of the stones, some of which weigh several tons, also hint at astronomical alignments, a common feature in megalithic structures worldwide. However, local legends say otherwise. A famous tale portrays the Amzura stones as the final resting place of Antaeus, a giant from Greek and Berber mythology defeated by Hercules as part of his 12 labors. And yet, despite extensive studies, the purpose and origin of these stones remain primarily speculative. Number 9. Oshun Oshobo Sacred Grove Embarking on a journey into Nigeria's core reveals the sacred beauty of the Oshun Oshobo Grove. This enchanting forest, lush and vibrant, is a cradle of spiritual significance and cultural heritage. The Oshun Oshobo Sacred Grove nestled on the banks of the Oshun River in Oshogo, Nigeria, is a sanctuary dedicated to the goddess Oshun, the Aruba deity of fertility and water. This sacred grove, a verdant expanse teeming with life, is an important UNESCO World Heritage Site. The annual Oshun Oshogo Festival, with a history spanning over 700 years, originated from an ancestral event. In the past, a community led by the skilled hunter Ola Temehin settled by the Oshun River to escape famine. Yeye Oshun, the river goddess appeared to Ola Temehin, urging him to lead the people to the present-day Oshogo town. She promised protection and prosperity in exchange for an annual sacrifice. The community agreed, and today, the Oshun Oshogo Festival commemorates this yearly tribute to the Oshun river goddess. Wandering through the grove, visitors will be captivated by the intricate sculptures, shrines, and artworks that adorn the landscape, created by renowned artists and dedicated to the deity Oshun. Now, we can only hope that this magnificent site teeming with history will neither be tarnished nor destroyed by urbanization. Number 8. Getty Ruins Nestled near the Indian Ocean coast of eastern Kenya, within the enchanting Arabuko Sokoke Forest, lies the Getty Ruins. This site, adjacent to the town of Getty in the Kalifi Desert, is an illuminating beacon for studying medieval Swahili coastal settlements that once stretched from Barawa in Somalia to the Zambezi River in Mozambique. The Getty site includes a walled town and its outlying area, featuring an array of stone structures such as mosques, a palace, numerous houses, and distinctive stone pillar tombs, characteristic of Swahili coast architecture. These buildings, all single-story, are distributed unevenly throughout the town, interspersed with large open areas that once contained earth and thatch houses. The Getty Ruins were unknown to most British East Africa colonists until the 1920s, but they were familiar to the local Mijikenda peoples, notably the Giriyama people, who consider the site sacred. The ruins, believed to be protected by the spirits of its priests, were first discovered by colonists in 1884, and since then have been one of the most intensely excavated and studied Swahili coast settlements. Excavations, which began in earnest in 1948 under James Kirkman, have revealed a rich history of occupation dating back to as early as the 11th century. This timeline is based on evidence such as a grave marker dated between 1041 and 1278. Getty's prime during the 15th and 16th centuries is evidenced by its architecture, abundant imported materials, and the layout of its urban development. The town's intricate layout, divided by inner and outer walls, reflects a sophisticated urban design. The inner wall encloses the city's main buildings, including the palace and mosques, which lacked minarets but featured wells and washing facilities for worship preparation. These ruins, a microcosm of Swahili civilization, make it among the most significant finds in all of Africa, revealing the complexities of medieval East African trade, culture, and society. Number 7. Spotless Giraffe An unexpected wonder was revealed in the wilds of Africa, the first spotless giraffe ever recorded in the wild. This rare and unique giraffe, an Angolan species, was discovered in Namibia, specifically at the Mount Etjo Safari Lodge, a private game reserve. The Giraffe Conservation Foundation announced this extraordinary finding, 
capturing the world's attention. Unfortunately, this unique trait also makes it a valuable and prized target among hunters. We can only hope that in time, these creatures will be left alone to thrive in their natural habitat. Number 6. Tongue Child Deep in the heart of South Africa was a discovery that profoundly changed our understanding of human evolution, the Tongue Child. This discovery, much like the enigmatic Mzura stones in Morocco, shows us a glimpse of mankind's ancient past. The Tongue Child was a fossilized skull of a young Australopithecus africanus. It was initially uncovered in the small town of Tongue in the northwest province of South Africa in 1924 by Professor Raymond Dart. Since then, this discovery has become a pivotal moment in paleoanthropology. This early human ancestor, believed to have lived around 2.8 million years ago, provided the first evidence that the cradle of humankind might lie in Africa. And now, recent discoveries prove this earlier belief. Africa truly might be where mankind flourished and began taking its first steps. Number 5. Oldest Homo Sapiens Fossils Now here is, yet again, another significant find that reshapes our understanding of human history. The Omo-1 Fossil The Omo-1 fossils, unearthed in the omo Kibish Formation in Ethiopia, are regarded as among the oldest known Homo sapiens remains. This remarkable discovery, initially made in the 1960s and continuously studied since, has reshaped our understanding of human evolution. Much like the Tongue Child's discovery shed light on early human ancestors, the Omo-1 fossils provide a window into the dawn of modern humans. Recent studies and re-datings of these fossils suggest that they are significantly older than previously thought, pushing back the timeline of Homo sapiens' emergence. This discovery changed the timeline of human evolution yet again. Number 4. Africa's Oldest Known Dinosaur In a historic discovery, Scientists have unearthed the oldest known dinosaur in Africa, Umbirosaurus rathi. Discovered during excavations in Zimbabwe between 2017 and 2019, this early sauropodomorph, a long-necked dinosaur, dates back to the late Triassic period, around 230 million years ago. Astonishingly, most of the skeleton was found intact, with the animal estimated to have been 6 feet long and weighing between 20 to 65 pounds. Yes, this species is among the smallest dinosaurs we've uncovered so far. The discovery of this old dinosaur fills a critical gap in the fossil record of the oldest dinosaurs. It's roughly equivalent in age to the oldest dinosaurs found globally, mainly in northern Argentina, southern Brazil, and India. This finding is monumental, as these early dinosaurs are extremely rare and have been recovered from only a few places worldwide. This creature stood on two legs, had a relatively small head, and possessed small, serrated, triangle-shaped teeth, indicating it was an herbivore, or potentially omnivore. It's astounding to imagine that a long time ago, these creatures roamed the continent of Africa, along with more remarkable and more monstrous beings. Today, it's up to us to unearth the traces they might have left behind. Number 3. Sociable Weaver Enough about fossils, and let's look at one of the most intriguing creatures that call Africa its home. The sociable weaver, a bird endemic to southern Africa, never fails to surprise people who see its nest for the first time. These birds, found in South Africa, Namibia, and Botswana, construct arguably the most impressive and largest structure of any bird species. Their nests, often mistaken for half-constructed thatched roofs, are unique among avian creatures. These community nests, unique among birds, are large enough to house over a hundred pairs of birds accommodating several generations simultaneously. The complex structure of these nests, akin to a honeycomb, consists of separate chambers for each pair of birds, sometimes along with their offspring. The nests function as micro-environments within the harsh landscape of the Kalahari Desert, where temperatures soar to around 40 degrees Celsius. The central chambers of these nests retain heat and are used for nighttime roosting, while the outer rooms offer daytime shade effectively buffering the extreme outside temperatures. As much as they construct great nests, they become problematic when constructed on posts and other manufactured structures. Number 2. Africa Splitting in Half In a groundbreaking development, quite literally, scientists have uncovered a monumental geological event. The African continent is splitting in two, paving the way for the birth of a new ocean, and not many people know about it. The epicenter of this dramatic shift is the East African Rift, 
a massive fracture in the Earth's crust that stretches about 2,175 miles from the Red Sea to Mozambique. This rift isn't merely a crack in the ground, it's a colossal tectonic boundary, marking the division between the African, Arabian, and Somali plates. Over the past 30 million years, these plates have been parting, with the Arabian plate moving away from the African continent at a rate of approximately one inch per year, while the African and Somali plates are breaking away even more slowly. What makes this discovery so shocking is the realization that the gradual widening of this rift will eventually lead to the formation of a new ocean. Geologists predict that millions of years from now, the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea will flood into the East African Rift Valley, transforming it into a vast ocean. This will result in the eastern part of Africa becoming its own separate small continent. The discovery was first noted in 2005 in the Ethiopian deserts, where a crack now 35 miles long was observed. This crack directly results from the tectonic plate's movements and is a unique location where scientists can study how a continental rift becomes an oceanic rift. Advanced technologies like satellite radar and GPS instruments have enabled researchers to monitor these land movements with incredible precision, down to a few millimeters per year. This slow but sure tectonic movement will not only reshape the geography of Africa, but also have profound implications for countries like Zambia and Uganda which could one day have their own coastlines. Number 1. Oldest Trees on Earth Baobab trees, the iconic giants of Africa, are facing a mysterious and troubling trend. These trees, some ancient enough to have witnessed centuries of history, are slowly dying off. Their massive trunks and sprawling branches, a familiar part of the African landscape for ages, now succumb to unknown factors. Could it be just because of the natural flow of time? or the significantly less rainfall as years pass by? Perhaps these changes are taking a toll on the baobabs. These trees have withstood a lot over their lifetimes, but the current shift of our planet seems to be challenging their resilience. In recent years, a significant number of the oldest baobabs, including some that have been around for a few thousand years, have died. This isn't due to a single disease or pest, but rather a combination of increasing environmental pressures. It's not just an ecological issue. The loss of baobabs also affects the cultural landscape of Africa, where they're revered and deeply integrated into local customs and folklore. You see, in Africa, baobab trees are deeply revered and woven into the fabric of local lore and customs. These colossal trees, often called the tree of life, are symbols of strength, resilience, and longevity in many African cultures. Baobabs serve as gathering places for communities, their wide trunks and sprawling branches offering shelter and shade. In some traditions, baobabs are thought to be homes of ancestral spirits, linking the living with their past. The tree's various parts are used in traditional medicine, and its fruit, known as monkey bread, is eaten for nourishment. Hopefully, we'll find a way so that the next generation will still get the chance to see these beautiful trees. Africa truly is a continent rich in history and culture. I wouldn't be surprised if we missed some discoveries in this video. If we did, feel free to share them in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.